Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win, you find a way to lose. Also in boxing, you find yourself in a situation where it's hard to believe what's being reported. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, it's uh, circulating on the internet. Let me see if I can just show you this real quick. That Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia supposedly did over 1.2 million. USA pay-per-view buys, right? That means domestically, according to I, at IDEC Boxing. So at IDEC Boxing, we need to understand this. I went and did my research, right? Because I figured IDEC Boxing was some type of company uh, that it has a responsibility to track and monitor pay-per-view sales domestically and globally, right? That's what that's what I was looking into because I'm going to tell you right now, I didn't expect, I said I don't expect that fight to do, you know, 500,000, no more than 500,000. Um, and if it does perform um, well, maybe you can get 500,000 to 800,000 now that we know that it was a big... Um, it was a big interest from the MMA community as well. But I just couldn't see it going over 800,000. So when you when you go to Twitter, right, because the source was supposedly from IDEC Boxing on Twitter, I said, cool, let me go to IDEC Boxing on Twitter to see what this company is about. So I go right here, okay? This is IDEC Boxing. It's an individual, senior writer, columnist, BoxingScene.com. Be nice until it's time not to be nice. Just a kid from Linden. Kind of old, but you get the idea. All right, so you can see this. He's just an, 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 an individual. Now, I'm not saying that he's going to be reporting fallacies in regards to the pay-per-view numbers for Tank and Ryan. But what I will tell you is he's not the person who's tabulating those final numbers for the pay-per-view event on a domestic level or global level global level now for anyone right now who's who's saying to themselves as they're watching the video man you know what the champion in boxing you just don't want them to perform well well first i'll tell you this thanks for feeling that way make sure you hit that like button okay i want to make sure that you do that now that being said Let's come and take a look. Who, what's going on here? Now, look at what he says. Been told. Okay? I've been told. Now, we know we don't spread rumors that Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia fight generated just over 1.2 million pay-per-view buys across all platforms, much more than most insiders projected. Ticket revenue was approximately $22.8 million, making it the fifth largest gate for boxing in Nevada history. Now, all I'm saying is, who told you? See, this is, what's, this is why I don't believe anything that gets reported on Twitter. I keep telling you, it's toxic Twitter. You know what I mean? I call it TTT squared. You know what I'm saying? There's got to be a reliable source and someone who someone or some company uh, will come out and say these are the numbers from here these are factual final tabulations and when we start seeing this reported not on Twitter but maybe on Fox News maybe on TMZ maybe you know we, we get um, an, an official report that comes out something opposed in hey I heard now, I'm going to tell you right now that I think anyone who feels this thing did over 1 million in pay-per-view buys based off, A, I heard he say, she say, that I think you guys should, you know, and, and, and I mean this with the most respect, and, 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 and I kindly request that y'all hold your horses and not take it to the stupid. Now, I'm not saying that it couldn't have gotten over one million. What I'm saying is, every time there's a big ass boxing match, 
some bozo comes on Twitter <laughs> and they lie about the pay-per-view numbers. So much so that people who saw this post by IDEC Boxing, they decided to chime in and kind of, hey, ask this man questions. So as you scroll down, someone named Knap, Nap, Knap, right? He says, hey, Rick Glazier, what do you think about this, Rick? Now, we've all learned that Rick Glazier doesn't have anything positive to say about PBC fighters and Al Heyman. Glazier says, that pay-per-view number being floated to the press is a number that is virtually impossible. I laugh at that type of grossly inflated number. And then somebody underneath that, they say, true, it never, it never did that. And, and all I'm saying is, how, how do these people know what it did or didn't do? Everyone out here is just talking. No one is, is able to provide facts. You know, from the number being reported to these guys trying to debunk that number. There's nothing factual. It's all opinion or he say, she say. You know, and that, that to me is frustrating. That's why I'm telling you guys, don't just take it with a grain of salt. If only the fly on the wall could talk. So as we scroll down, you know, you get people out here, look, good numbers, and, you know, they believe in what they're hearing. Someone posted an image of Javante Davis. And here goes somebody, been told by who is a question. Same thing that I asked. Get out of here with that nonsense. And this guy here says, mm, whoa, both fighters walking with 25 million plus. These guys have no idea how the pay-per-view breakdown works. Let me tell y'all something. Remember, I just did a video about this. The network, I believe, let's see, that breakdown that I did the other day, right? It's the, the, the network that's carrying the fight. I forget how it goes, but I know it's like 10% off the top goes somewhere. Then 45% goes uh, to like the, the network, right? Then for, the other 45% goes to the promoters. So out of whatever that number is for a million pay-per-view buys, only 45% of that goes to the promoters. That means Golden Boy and uh, PBC. And then that 45% gets split up, whether with a 70-30 agreement, 80-20 agreement in the pay-per-view split. You understand? So y'all do the math. There's no whole lot of money. I mean, it's millions, but you know, both of them getting no 25, 30, 40 million. But um, you just have to do the numbers. So let's go down and take a look. Tank is bigger than Canelo. See, this is where people just really start taking it to the stupid because they don't stop to ask those questions. This guy here says, Keith, you know people want to know how many got it via Showtime and how many got it via zone." Cesar says, how many people bought it for Tank? And how many people bought it for Ryan, though? That's, uh, that doesn't even matter. Making this the biggest pay-per-view since Tyson versus Jones, correct? You see, people just, they, 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 they hear something and they accept it. Nobody wants to peel the layers back. Nobody. This guy says, great build-up, done deal. You know, look, look, I'm trying to see, I'm trying, it's, this guy says, how many of those pay-per-view buys were duplicates? My thing is, I want to see who on here is going to ask the question that I'm asking. You know what I'm saying? This guy here said, look, 22.8 is crazy. What's crazy is 72 million for Mayweather versus Pacquiao, and that's never going to be touched. Uh, 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 this guy here, man, it was a perfect situation. Okay, here we go. E. Francis, whatever the real pay-per-view numbers are, highly likely 70% came from Garcia considering his social media following in Los Mexicanos. Okay, so as you see, there are a couple people who are asking questions, but I don't know. Then this guy, Gregory Rowe, says, Rick Glacier says different. Rick Glacier says right here, these million pay-per-view buys for David Garcia are just social media rumors. They have no substance. I agree with him with that. It was tracking at 600,000 buys late Friday. Showtime boxing head honcho Steven Espinosa told several at ringside Showtime and zone were collectively hoping for 800,000. Those are the facts. I'll have the real pay-per-view numbers by Friday. Enjoy your Wednesday. 
So, kind of hard. Hey, it's kind of hard to to know who to listen to, what to believe, right? But what I will tell you is, let's wait and we see if we can get something definitive, something rooted in substance, something that we can act, something's tangible, where we can actually, you know, touch and say, okay. This is the company. This is the source. If Espinosa says it, if Showtime says it, you know, I don't know about the zone because Eddie Hearn says some craziness. But let, let's 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 identify the source because I don't trust anything being said out here. And these guys who are, who have a narrative that they want they want to create and they want to push, they're going to take that and run with it if they feel uh, their whole narrative was Tank and Ryan is going to shatter all records and all that other buffoonery. So I'm just telling you this. I, I hope Tank and Ryan uh, did well. I, I think 500,000 uh, I, I, were, were good numbers, but it looks like 600,000 is kind of where they were already. And it, the 800,000 mark is kind of what I said, 500, 800,000. And it looks like that's more realistic. The 1.2 and all that crap. Look, let's, let's wait and see what's up. Hello? Yeah, this is this is him. class yeah just go finish class man i'll be there to get him in an hour okay, no problem. all right Bye. sorry about that man i got kids i'm not gonna edit that out it was real short My son in school calling me man from the nurse office it's some stuff so i'm gonna go get them but i was at the end of the video anyway but that being said man i don't know what to believe but i'm, I'm hoping they do good numbers but let, let's wait and see what else comes out uh, about these guys. But that being said, this Rick Glacier guy, I don't really trust what he says either because he says some craziness. Um, but the, the, the fact that, we're, you know, he's willing to come out and say people's names and stuff, I'm not saying that I believe him. But what I'm telling you is, this sounds a little bit more realistic. But let's just wait and see. More to come. Take what Rick says. Take what I deck boxing says, take with a grain of salt, and let's see what happens. That being said, y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans. Go get my boy. Uh, I'm in the breeze.